alleging a failure to protect incarcerated women from sexual abuse. Fox to declare a state of emergency. Well, today we're getting a closer look at that process after obtaining previously unreleased documents from the city of El Paso. Jessica Formoso in the newsroom with the details. Jessica. Good evening, Stephen Natasha. Each document shows the date and time the buses left El Paso, which means officials here knew when they were coming at least 24 hours in advance, which explains why there were always folks at the Port Authority greeting the asylum seekers this morning. I was told the problem was never El Paso, but Governor Abbott, who never gave them a heads up. Now, we just also got a report as to how much the city will be spending on the care of the migrants, and that is a total of more than $550 million. Natasha and Steve, back to both of you upstairs. All right, Jessica, thank you. Former President Trump has made it official. He's mounting a third bid for the nation's highest office. All right, that announcement comes before we even have a complete result from the wake of the University of Virginia shooting that left three football players dead. The school is canceling Saturday's home football game. For be willing to spend when it comes to travel. According to AAA, travel over Thanksgiving is expected to reach nearly 98% of pre-pandemic levels. All right, Fox 5's Arthur Chen shows us what you can expect if